Let's make chicken tikka masala. Tikka masala, a controversial curry to say the least, massively popular in the Western world. Quite a lengthy recipe, so strap in and let's get on with it. Alrighty, so this recipe consists of three parts. The marinated chicken tikka, the tomato masala, and then the curry base. All three parts come together to create the final dish, so let's run through these one by one. We want to kick things off by marinating the chicken, so grab yourself a food processor and into the food processor put 300 grams of plain yoghurt, 2 whole red chilies, 50 grams of peeled ginger, 5 large cloves of garlic, the juice from 2 whole lemons along with 1 tablespoon of turmeric, and two tablespoons of garam masala. Oh, and a nice healthy pinch of salt. You're then going to blend this up until everything is fully incorporated and you have a relatively smooth mix. It doesn't matter if there's a few little chunks in there, don't worry too much. Place one kilo of skinless boneless chicken thighs into a bowl and pour the marinade over. You're then just going to give this all a really good mix together and now you can just leave this on the side for two to four hours while we make the rest of the stuff or marinate it in the fridge overnight just make sure to cover it in cling film. We are 10 minutes into the recipe and the kitchen already smells incredible. This, uh, this bad boy, the marinating chicken. That, uh, that marinade is just packed full of amazing flavour. Right, let's move on to the next thing. To make the curry base, you're going to need one whole bulb of garlic that's been cut in half. You're also going to need two green chilies that you just take the stems off and then cut into rough chunks. We're also going to go in with 100 grams of fresh ginger. You can leave the skin on, just cut this into rough chunks yet again. You are then going to throw all of that into a saucepan along with five whole cloves and five whole cardamoms and this stalks from a bunch of coriander. My bunch was 30 grams in size. We're then going to chuck in 800 grams of tinned plum tomatoes and then we're going to give this all a mash together. We're just going to mash this together to kind of break everything up a little bit and it's going to help release the flavours into the curry base. Pop a lid on and then you're going to bring this up to a simmer and then we're going to cook this out for 20 minutes, simmering gently, stirring occasionally and then after that we are going to move on to straining it. So you're just going to want to pour your curry base through a fine sieve and then you're basically going to remove all the large chunks of stuff. So the garlic, the coriander stalks, you know, the, the chunks of chili, the chunks of ginger and this is going to allow us to then force the kind of the tomato pulp through the sieve. We just want to make sure we get as much liquid out of this as possible. Discard of everything else but keep the liquid. Return that into your saucepan and also place in eight kaffir lime leaves, 200 millilitres of double cream and two healthy tablespoons of honey. You're also going to want to put in one tablespoon of ghee butter. It's basically just clar clarified butter. So I'll link some down in the description so you can order that up nice and easily if you don't know what that is. All we're going to do now is bring this mixture back up to a simmer and then we're going to kill the heat, put a lid on and just let that sit while we create our tomato masala. Right, so we had the chicken marinated, the curry base is ready and now all we need to make is a tomato masala and then we're pretty close to bringing this whole thing together. To make the tomato masala, you're going to take two medium red onions and roughly dice them up. We're also going to need to quarter 750 grams of cherry tomatoes. Get nice quality ones, it really makes a difference in this dish. Into a frying pan, you're going to place four tablespoons of sunflower oil and bring that up on a high heat. Once up to temperature, throw in your red onion and then you're also going to add in three large cloves of minced garlic. I use my handy dandy garlic press again. This thing is amazing. Who would have knew? You're going to season this with a bit of salt and then cook this out until you start to get a light brown colour on the onions. After that, immediately go in with one tablespoon of garam masala and one teaspoon of chilli powder. 
we are then going to mix this super duper fast. This is going to kind of toast off when you cut this for 45 seconds to a minute. We don't go too long, the spices will start to burn. After a minute, you're going to add in all of those tomatoes and then mix vigorously. What's going to happen is the tomatoes are going to start to break down and that's exactly what we want. We're going to start cooking this down further and further and further until we have a nice kind of sauce consistency. This should take anywhere between six to eight minutes. Just make sure you continually stir it. Once you've got something that looks somewhat like you see on the screen here, you're ready to go. Place your tomato masala to one side and now it is time to cook the chicken. So on an oven tray, you're just going to arrange it on top of a rack uh, so it's nice and evenly spread out. Put the marinade all over the top and then chuck this under a grill that's preheated to the absolute max. What we're going to do is look for a nice kind of char on top. We don't want it to burn, we just want it to be charred. And then once you've got a nice char, flip it over and we're going to do exactly the same on the other side. We're just going to cook it until we have a beautiful char on the chicken. This should be long enough to cook the chicken thighs. So here's what's going down. We have our marinated chicken all charred up, ready to go. We have the tomato masala and the uh, curry base. We are ready to pull this bad boy together. Take your cooked chicken and then we're going to cut each thigh into kind of two, three or four pieces depending on the size of the thigh. You just want them to be mouth size chunks. Once that's done, you're going to grab yourself a large pan, place it on a medium heat and then you're going to put 150 grams of ghee into it. Once the ghee has melted, you're going to go in with four teaspoons of cumin seeds, one teaspoon of mild chili powder and one tablespoon of garam masala. Give that all a real quick mix and then you're going to place in four kaffir lime leaves. Now we're going to cook this for maybe 30 seconds max before we put all the chicken in. That's important, it will burn. Once the chicken's in, give it a rough mix around so everything's coated and looking all lovely and then you're going to go on top with the tomato masala. Make sure you're working quick here guys, we don't want those spices to burn. Mix that all around so everything is nice and combined and then you're going to go in straight away with our curry base. And then you're going to mix that all again until everything's nicely combined and you're going to simmer this for four to five minutes just to let everything kind of marry together and thicken up ever so slightly. To finish it off, you're just going to put in a splash of double cream, around about 25 grams of unsalted butter. Stir this together until everything is melted and beautiful. Don't worry about a bit of oil separation here. You're going to go in 30 grams of roughly chopped coriander and then give everything a good old mix together. Serve this with some rice and mango chutney and you are away. Ooh, or naan bread. Hell yeah, naan breads are good. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this recipe, guys. There you have it, tikka masala. This thing is beautiful and the house just smells amazing. All the spices and everything that's been going on. Right, we're not gonna do this the same way we usually do it. We're just gonna try a little bit because we're gonna eat this with the family later. Sit down and have a meal. Let's give it a go. Hmm. Oh yeah, everything's so subtle. All the spices and everything. It's all, it's like a part in your mouth, but it's all really subtle. It's all in harmony, nothing too overpowering. Not too spicy. Oh, my light's just gone out. Typical. Well, we're doing the rest of this without the light. The chicken as well. Super juicy and, and tender because it's thigh. Mm -mm -mm. Guys, if you like curries and you like kind of a milder curry. This this, this is the, the this is the route to go for you. The richness of the cream, the sweetness of the honey, the softness of all the spices, and then the chicken, super juicy and tender. Serve it on top of some rice. Boom, absolutely banging. I hope you guys have enjoyed this week's episode. If you have, don't forget to leave a like, comment what you want me to make in the future, and subscribe to see future content. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye -bye.